A Beaver Creek man took his cancer diagnosis and turned it into an opportunity for adventure. Along the journey, he's raised thousands of dollars to pour back into the community. Two News reporter Aaliyah Williamson shows us how his health and lifestyle change is what's working in the Miami Valley. In 2004, Randy Crow's world was rocked when he was diagnosed with an aggressive form of thyroid cancer. The song Live Like You Were Dying by country star Tim McGraw gave him hope. That song, I still get emotional when I think about that song because that song came out the year that I was diagnosed with cancer at age 42. So the lyrics resonate deeply. And um, I decided to start running 37 hours through the mountains. He was inspired by native Indians who ate plant-based and ran long distances barefoot. These things taught me how to pick up my feet and run properly. Um, and from there, I could run any distance injury free over time as I kind of rehabbed my body at needed work and then also developed it at the same time. And he had to take it an extra mile by choosing to participate in ultra marathons with distances up to 100 miles. For me, 100 miles, most of it feels really good. Instead of being fearful of something I didn't want, I flipped it to complete focus on what I did want. To date, he's completed more than 71 ultra marathons, two of which he organized himself when he noticed a need in his neighborhood during the pandemic. So many people were out of work, uh, people were going hungry. I thought, well, maybe I can do my do-it-yourself 100-mile run and raise money for the food bank here in Dayton. Not allowing any challenges to slow down his race to fulfillment. I just hope it never ends in terms of um, being able to take on these adventures and ask my body to do uh, crazy things. Aaliyah Williams in 2 News, working for you.